In this video, we're going to learn how to navigate through our document and also how to zoom in and out and how to be moving freely within our canvas or our artboards. Okay. So first, we're going to be starting with the hand tool, which is going to be allowing us to move around. And the shortcut for the hand tool is H on keyboard or holding the space bar. And this tool will allow us to move around through our artboard or different artboards to move uh, right or left, up and down. And also, if you're using a Mac computer, you can be using your trackpad with two fingers to move around instead of the hand tool, which is really handy and one of the great advantages of the Mac computers. And in order to zoom in and out through our Illustrator file, we have the zoom tool and we have shortcuts. And also, we can be using our trackpad for pinching in and out via two fingers or using the zoom tool and dragging to right for zoom in and drag to left to zoom out. And in order to zoom in anywhere, you will be dragging to the part to the right. And that option will be activated if you have a strong computer and strong graphic card. And you can be checking that via that rocket icon in here. And you will find that the GPU performance is activated and the animated zoom is on, which is dragging to right or to left. If this one is not activated, you can uncheck this one and press OK. In that case, if you want to zoom anywhere, you can be selecting any area you want to zoom to and then it will be zoomed to let's select that area and so on okay of course you can be checking your zoom range from here you can check that little arrow and you can check 100 percent if you would like or fit to screen like that and in order to zoom out you will be pressing the alt key and clicking the mouse like that and one other way to zoom in and out using the shortcuts command and one will be giving us 100% of our artboard which we are on and command alt zero will be showing us all our artboards and command zero will be giving us a fit to screen option. Those are the most famous shortcuts that we're going to be using through our design to save us time and effort and also we are on artboard too so you can be choosing which artboard to be on so you're going to be switching to one or artboard three or even two from here or even from your artboard if you would like from here you're going to be choosing artboard by default and you're going to be double clicking in here for artboard one and artboard three or two and remember if you double click in here you're going to be renaming your artboard name and if you're working on a detailed file or you want to zoom in for some reason and you want to save that view let's say we have the part of our calligraphy design in here and we want to save that view let's go to view and we're going to be creating a new view from here let's call this one cali zoom for example i'm going to press ok and we've got that zoom then we can zoom out and let's say you're working in here in your file and you're focusing on that part and anytime you want to restore that view again you're going to go to view from here and you're going to be clicking that zoom and you will get it right away and if you want to delete that view that you just saved you're going to go to view from here and edit views and then we've got that one we're going to select it and press the delete button or even rename it from here okay so i'm going to delete that one and also one of the great ways to navigate through your illustrator file is using the navigator panel and this panel is not going to be opened by default so probably you need to activate it from the window in here and check navigator and as you can see this rectangle is representing your screen so anywhere you want to zoom in or move to for quick access you can be using that one or even you can zoom in and out through these little triangles from here or pyramids it looks like pyramids or even you can choose your design zoom level from here as well or move to another artboard for a quick access and if you want to change that screen color, you can go to uh, that little hamburger menu and press on panel option. You're going to be seeing your view box color. You can be choosing any custom color or one of these swatches. Okay, so that's it for the navigator panel. Let's see how we can be seeing all our opened illustrator files at once and even navigate between them. We're going to close that one and we will be going to window, arrange and choose style and now we have our three illustrator files opened as you can see we are moving between them and navigating and we have that one as well in here 
or you can choose that little icon from here and choose another layout maybe something like that tile horizontal and you're gonna be having your file in here and you can use our shortcuts for quick fit to screen like that this is another way to see all your design files maybe move some elements between them maybe i want to move that logo to another file i'm gonna be moving it like that and it's gonna be copied and pasted in the same illustrator file in here leaving the original file as it is in its place and even to hide these panels for another preview and save us more space we can be using our tab on keyboard like that to hide these panels and pressing another tab to bring them back and this could be really helpful if you have a big design that you want to see most of it but sometimes it's really nice to preview your artwork without these panels and tools and if you want to go back to consolidate all of these files again you will be selecting that option again and here we go as we were also one more thing to mention in here we have another preview mode called outline mode to see your detailed lines that you're gonna be using a lot while you're designing anything let's go to that logo and zoom in and then we're gonna be pressing command y and we have our artwork in outline mode so we can be seeing all our designing lines maybe you want to move that line to here maybe you want to move that line to here you can be doing that very precisely through that amazing outline mode and while you are in outline mode you're going to be seeing that written in here instead of gpu preview and also you'll be seeing your typography in black and white cmyk outline okay to bring it back press command y you're gonna be getting your original preview as it was or gpu preview as it was and another way to bring the outline mode from view and press on outline first option in your menu then we have preview on cpu and this option could be really helpful if you don't have a strong graphic card then you can be using your computer's processor to preview your graphic and your artwork instead of gpu mode and not much difference in here so don't worry if you don't have a strong graphic card the illustrator got that part for you you can be switching to cpu performance for a better and faster performance and better designing experience and also another hint and you don't have to really memorize all these uh, shortcuts for zooming in and out and all that you can find a quick access for shortcuts from here view and you're gonna be seeing outline and shortcut in here preview on cpu over print preview this will be helpful if you are working on a file that you're going to be printing later and also pixel preview and this could be very important when you're exporting your vector file to raster or pixel eventually if you want to check your pixel preview you can check that from here and also you can be seeing your zoom in and out and fit to artboard actual size and all these shortcuts are already written in here of course if you're using windows you're going to be seeing instead of that pictogram for command you're going to be seeing control plus control minus and zero etc and all these other options we're going to be covering them in other lessons don't worry about that and i'll be seeing you in next lesson